I've been meaning to do a video about the um, history of midwifery uh, and I know that there are a lot of classes and everything about this so I'm not necessarily going to talk about it from that standpoint but more from a personal responsibility standpoint of being good stewards of the legacy and the history that midwives have um, and I'm just going to put this in the format of talking about people that have influenced my life. I remember being a teenager, I could drive, and so probably I was 16 or 17, I was still in high school, and I remember going to the public library and finding the home birth section. I don't even know how I found that section or why I was there, but I got out these books about home birth, and I think that's really what set the course of my life. And I, I hardly remember those books. I think it was Sheila Kitzinger, a book by her. I just remember had a lot of nice, beautiful pictures. And um, I might have also been influenced by Suzanne Arms. So I just wanted to take this just a couple minutes to talk about this, a couple of the names because I think it's good as midwives to become familiar with the famous names in midwifery. Um, some some of them have re died recently and some of them are uh, still alive and I'm definitely not going to cover everybody I'm just going to cover people who come off the top of my head so Suzanne Arms um, was one of the early writers she wrote Immaculate Deception 1 and 2 then Sheila Kitzinger was from Britain she died recently but she has written over 20 books on birth and one of them is the complete book of pregnancy and childbirth that I think is still very popular. Then there's Penny Simpkin, I think she's a doula, but she is also a prolific writer and she has written The Birth Partner and The Labor Progress Handbook and a lot of other books. Uh, Michelle Adent, I love for his work on oxytocin and just the whole um, style of his writing sometimes when I need a break from reading people who are very heavy into all these medical studies and everything it's just nice to go and read Michelle O'Dent because he's a little more readable <laughs> then there is Gail when I need research and statistics there's a lot of people to go to but I really go to Gail Hart and Hensi Goer those are two very famous and well uh, publicized writers. I don't know if you guys know about Gail Hart because she's not as mainstream, but she has a lot of material for midwives about, and she's an excellent uh, resource for research. And then um, Laura Kaplan Shanley wrote a book, and uh, maybe more, about unassisted childbirth. So if anybody ever wants to look into unassisted childbirth, you can read about that. Then there was a series of five books that are very old, and I don't think they're published anymore, and I think they're hard to find, and I can't remember the name of them even, but I have them. And they were written by David and Lee Stewart, who were some of the older home birth advocates uh, in the early days, like in the 70s in the U.S., David and Lee Stewart. And his uh, books are excellent. If you ever need to be convinced of the safety of home birth, and the things that midwives provide, his their books are excellent on those things. Then there's Ina May Gaskin, of course. There's also somebody named Rixa Fries. I don't. Uh, she taught, promotes breech birth also, and there's so there's a group of people that work up for breech birth. I also have a couple of people who are my age um, who have the indie birth, indie birth, I N D I E birth, and they are all about just natural birth and keeping twin birth and breech birth alive in midwifery. So I wanted to talk about that because I just want to remind us all that we have lives also that we have to steward and we have to steward how we use our influence, our writing, our persons, like what, what we're going to be providing and passing down to the next generation because I'm very thankful for these people and how much time and how much of their lives they devoted to making birth and safe birth and home birth accessible to people today. So I just want to, I often think of them now at the age I am at because I need to think about what I am going to be doing to serve people and leave a small legacy of my own. So. 
those are just some famous names of home birth midwifery that it's worth knowing and it's worth kind of knowing and kind of getting familiar with and reading their books so you kind of understand the whole medical realm that these things are coming out of so bye